Good morning, my dear children. How are you? Hope you all are fine and happy. Everybody take care of your hair. Study well. Okay, let's come to the chapter. Today, let's start a new lesson from your geography textbook. Lesson 3, our changing year. In the previous class, we had already, uh, we had discussed about the layers so further. It has three layers. They are crust, mantle and core. Like that, it has also four domains. They are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and the biosphere. This chapter is related with lithosphere. Let's look what is the first paragraph. Okay, the lithosphere is broken into what is lithosphere? Lithosphere is the hard top layer of the earth. Lithosphere is the hard top layer of the earth. This lithosphere is broken into a number of plate known as lithospheric plates. Lithosphere is broken into a number of plates known as lithospheric plates. What is lithospheric plates? Lithosphere is broken up into number of plates known as lithospheric plates. This play, these lithospheric plates move around very slowly. These are these plates are moving very slowly around the air. This is because the movement of the molten magma inside the air is the cause of the movement of lithospheric plates. The change, change of molten magma is the causes of the movement of lithospheric plates. The molten magma inside the air moves in a circular manner. That's why these plate, uh, lithospheric plates are moving around the air. Let's look at that, that side portion of the test book. The S crust consists of what is lithospheric plates. The F crust consists of small irregular shaped plates. Plates means slabs known as lithospheric plates. These plates carry the continent and the ocean floors on the earth. The duty of lithospheric plates are, these plates are carrying the ocean and the ocean bodies and the continents. The movement of these plates, these plates, the movement of which plates, the lithospheric plates causes changes on the surface of the air. Then the air movements are divided on the basis of the forces which cause them, the forces which act in the interior of the air called as endogenic forces earth inde inside undavuna two types of forces moolamana ee lithospheric adhaadi lithosphere nu parayna aa domain a part small small pieces aayittu adinathunna vittu vittu ange povunu adu ingane round cheyidunnathekku varunnathu appo what is the causes of these movements of lithospheric plates the causes is the inside the causes is mainly the magma inside the earth there are two forces, uh, the two forces are causes this movement of this lithospheric plates, uh, they are endogenic forces and uh, endogenic forces and uh, exogenic forces, exogenic forces. Two forces are cause this changes in the lithospheric uh, plates, uh, they are endogenic forces and exogenic forces first let's look what is endogenic forces the forces which act in the interior of the earth are called endogenic endogenic means interior endo means interior inside the earth the forces which act as the interior of the act in the interior of the earth is known as endogenic forces Earth in the inside of the forces in the air, endogenic forces. Then what is exogenic forces? The forces that works on the 
surface of the earth are called exogenic forces. What is the difference between endogenic forces and exogenic forces? The forces which act in the interior of the earth is called endogenic forces while the forces that work in the outside of the surface or surface of the earth is known as exogenic forces. These are the moments of earth. The two moments are endogenic forces and exogenic forces. These endogenic forces causes these are sudden forces. Petta nanda nanda forces in anamala endogenic forces. Earth in the petta nanda sudden movement in anamala. Endogenic forces on the parayana causes earthquake. Earthquake is the sudden movement of the earth. Endogenic forces causes earthquake building mountains. Earthquake in the after effect on mountain formation. That is lava for the one hit. Parinanala volcano. Earthquake and other for the one hit. Suddenly cool down and forms rocks. If rocks formation down, then the mountain formation down is the causes of endogenic forces. Then volcano landslide are the after effect of endogenic forces. Now, when you look at that, suddenly earth is vibrating. That is sudden vibration of the earth. That is earth. Okay, okay. While volcano, okay, you know, that is sudden vibration. That is the cause of sudden vibration. Reason of this sudden vibration is the endogenic forces. Then the endogenic forces. Sudden for vibration, earth in the landslide, earth to cover, all kind of polula, natural researches, okay. Then exogenic forces causes river, wind, sea waves, glaciers in the action, mulam, and then erosional and depositional work has been done. Other than sea, wind, sea waves, wind, river, and glaciers in the work, our action, mulam. Land forms on the way, other the land forms side of forms a deposit area, pinna the other than eroded the one to wait in the either cat exogenic forces on the one on the other. There are two forces, they are endogenic forces and exogenic forces. Endogenic forces are the forces act in the inside of the earth or interior of the earth, while the exogenic forces are forces work outside the earth or. Uh, surface of the earth. These are endogenic forces and exogenic forces. Then what are lithospheric plates? Their crusts consist of several small irregular slabs. They are known as lithospheric plates. These plates causes or which carry continents and oceans on earth. Then let's look what is a volcano. Volcano. What is Volcano. Volcano is a vent. Vent means opening. Volcano is, is a vent. What is the meaning of vent? Opening. Volcano is a vent in the earth's crust through which molten materials erupt suddenly. That is why we earth in the interior forces. Exogenic forces. Sudden vibration. आ मोल्टेन मटेरियल्स एक होले लोडे पड़ते क्यों एरिम अधिने आना हमारा ओपनिंग लोडे आउटसाइड ले क्यों रहने आना हमारे वॉल का नियम वाला है ना इंदर ना वॉल का नियम इसे वेंच इन द एयर्स क्रस्ट थ्रू विच मोल्टेन मटेरियल्स इरर सडनली सडन ना इधर उन डाना मोमेंट्स अर्थात एंडोजेनिक मोमेंट इस सडन मोमेंट then what is the definition of volcano? Volcano is a vent or opening in the earth crust which molten materials erupts suddenly. That is the moment symbol, sudden moment of volume inside the lula molten. Uriki Kadagana lava or take your vendi lula, every opening in the earth in the surface lake of the game, the Tantan Thoran mountain formation, like a rock formation at one. Different types of rocks, but it's well. आ फॉर्मेशन ट्रॉक्स फॉर्मेशन के अर्थ इंडिया डिफरेंट मोमेंट्स में उल्लू ओके है ना अब हम चुड़े व्हाट आर थिंग्स वी लेन व्हाट इस लिथोस्फीयरिक प्लेस लेट हैस्ट फॉर डोमेन्स दे आर लिथोस्फीयर हाइड्रोस्फीयर एटमॉस्फीयर एंड बायोस्फीयर दिस लिथोस्फीयर इस हार्ड टॉप लेयर ऑफ़ द एर्थ is moving a 
very tight that uh, that was uh, some uh, small plates lithospheric plates uh, they are um, uh, move around the ear okay that is the definition of lithospheric plates so the air crust consists of several large or small irregular plates or slats known as lithospheric plates then the uh, cause of lithospheric uh, cause uh, cause of lithospheric plates are endogenic forces and exogenic forces the forces work on the inside the air this is known as endogenic forces and the forces work outside the air the surface of the earth is known as exogenic forces then volcano what is volcano definition of volcano volcano is a vent in the earth's crust through which molten materials erupts suddenly that's all for today today's class everybody read this section very well so that you may get better understanding of the content today let's wind up the class thank you